I'm Glenn Ridge with Wild Safari Africa. We're up here in Lapopo Province with Africa Expectation Safaris filming season two. What we're trying to do here, as we did in, in season one, is to show you exactly what's going on, how it happens, when it happens. So none of our shots are retakes. What you're seeing happens. Yes, we might not get the animal on, on tape, but that's reality. So I really hope you guys enjoy our show. I'm Glenn Ridge, Wild Safari Africa. See you on planes. After the Bless Buck hunt in episode five, Luigi invited us to stay to do a night hunt for Stenbuck. Okay, I found the As we were spotting in the field, we noticed a ewe, common rebuck, standing up. And next to her was a big ram laying down. I decided to hold off on him because I've heard that there's not a good herd of the common rebuck in the area. So we passed. Between the Orbi and um, uh, Steenbuck will be a Orbi will have a, sh um, a black tail uh -huh. and it will be have a, a little bit longer brownie with a little bit more white hair and the horns will be just a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Yeah. <clears throat> and they are not water dependent because they get the moisture through the leaves. Leaves. <clears throat> this is my second animal of my tiny tin. Uh, Steambuck. Thanks to Craig and, and Africa Expectation Safaris, Zara's two chicken come out of the truck. But I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Good, pleasure, sir. Good treating. Uh, <coughs> these guys are worth coming to see and hunting with. I have a nice lodge. Uh, camaraderie is great. They're fun guys uh, to sit back and have a sundowner. And they'll be with you from from the day you step on on their property to the day you leave. So give them a chance. Come out. Maybe I'll be out here filming. I'm Glenn Ridge with uh, Wild Safari Africa, and with my good friends Craig and Zara with Africa Expectation Safaris. guys we're gonna be heading out off farm hunting Lapopo bushbuck so I want you guys to uh, come with us load up and what we're gonna be going to is an orchard uh, they primarily night hunt the, the Lapopo bushbuck so uh, come with us let's get us a bushbuck during my stay we I met a really nice gentleman that I really like his name is Enos Go ahead. Um, I, I spoke with the farmer um, this morning and he said um, maybe late afternoon uh -huh. some of the bish, uh, big bush bucks will come in okay um, if we don't find them then we unfortunately they have to go with the light yeah but um, many of the animals we are hunting this evening are nocturnal okay um, mainly nocturnal yes so we will be hunting um, white tailed mongols jennet um, then we will also have civet okay and um, the, the, we, we will also find um, daker um, steenbok and uh, the red daker Okay. Maybe if we're lucky, some bush pig, but we are mainly targeting bush, uh, bush buck. Bush buck. Nice yes. bush buck. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I think um, we have a full menu. Let's see what's up, what happens. Sounds good. Yeah. Appreciate it. Well, guys, hop on in the trucks. Let's go.
Enos knew of of a an orchard that we could go to to do a bush hunt or bush buck hunt, and uh, so he he took us and it was a great trip. So continue watching. Anthony, Anthony, um, uh, would you tell us a little bit about your farm? Okay, oh, this is my macadamia. We've got macadamias, avocados, um, some bananas, doing some sweet potatoes. And yeah, no, we've got a big problem with baboons and monkeys eating our crops up and yeah, and then all other animals are quite animals freely, freely, yeah. freely around. We've got bushbuck. I don't know all the English names, I'm actually Afrikaans. Uh, what's a servet cut in English? Servet. Servet cat, mostly hard cut is a... Genet. Genet. Um, white tail mongoose. White tail mongoose. Red diker. Red diker, blue diker. Um, there's there was used the uh, water buck. There was sometimes you lucky get water buck here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, and bush pig and um, bush buck as well. Yes. Yeah. I imagine those pigs really are really hard on the trees and stuff. Um, the baboons are actually worse. Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay. They do a lot of damage. Well, let's see if we can't take care of some problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get everything ready and load up, and uh, we'll see you in the orchard. We're in the orchard of uh, macadamia nuts. Buck and any other little critters we can find, but mainly the bush buck. Still the popo bush buck. If you have the opportunity to go out and do an animal control hunt on one of these orchards, take them up on it. The orchard we went to was uh, the property was real hilly. And during the during the night, as we were driving and, and, and dodging the uh, the limbs of the trees and and whatnot, we it, it it just was really really rough, and it took a toll on us. And man, we were ready to go home. I can say what I'm thinking. Is that him? I don't see his own. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they say shoot him. Three bush bucks, two last year drops. First one this year drop. We're gonna go retrieve them. This is rough. Oh, I'm shaking. Space to see. Yeah. Congratulations. Right. Good shooting. Good male. Good male. Yeah. Perfect specimen. Well, well, and it's right dark. Here. It's dark. Yes, it's dark. black. Congratulations. Well done. Well, uh, it's still uh, a. Uh, uh, Let's look all over the I want to see where I hit him. Let's exit. You hit him on the shoulder, that side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, on okay. the shoulder. Oh, yeah. There it is. Boom. There. Here, so please go. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Boom. Boom. There it is. Precise. Boom. Yeah. Congratulations, dude. Cool. Once again. <laughs> nice male. Lampopo. Nice. Big one large, but he'll do. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna yeah. take this pressure off. I didn't hear the impact, I was so excited. No, it was, it was boom. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing he said, what the silence. Yeah, For a yeah. free on that, it's yeah. very, very, very can silent. Can you explain this, man? What is it? Yeah, it's, it's by a company it's called Salserco, uh, the base out of Texas. It's yeah. very nice. You know? Can you explain this, I feel it. Now, that will, that, that will go anything 30 caliber and below. This one? Yeah, and when I have that on my 270, 270 short mag, it's loud. But this on this 300, it's, it's quiet. This is a, 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 what do you call it? A, a, That's a, uh, a, a, a muzzle, a, fl yeah. a flash yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I can think, okay. I think it's got eight or nine compartments. Yes. Yeah, the more compartments you hit, more more uh, uh, baffles you have in it, the quieter it is. The one I use on my crew, it looks like a well cap compared to that. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful little purple bush buck I got, and I owe it to one bullet, and it's by Barnes. It's their TTXX Hotel. It's a 300 wind mag, 180 grain. I'd never come to South Africa without this bullet. The TSX bullet is, I think, is is the best. Uh, I use it in my hand loads, and this is their factory, and they 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 shoot really clean. There's hardly any powder residue in my barrels after I shoot. So when you're coming over here, or even whitetail hunting, get this bullet. Uh, we're here, or I'm here with uh, Craig with Africa Expectation Safaris. And we came out into some uh, orchard areas to uh, hunt a Lapopo bush buck. And we got a great mature ram. Appreciate it. I'd like to introduce you to Anthony over here. Come on over here, sir, please. Uh, tell us a little bit about your the orchard. Um, we shot this bush buck in a macadamia orchard. The orchard's about six, seven years old. Um, there's many bush buck and many game and stuff roaming around here. We've got some animals that did do some damage and stuff like that. But like you said, there's plenty of bush buck and plenty going around. He is definitely healthy. Yeah. Well, again, Anthony, I appreciate allowing us to hunt on your property. It's a pleasure and uh, I look forward to coming back again. Uh, now it's the pH's work. We're gonna watch him gut it and skin it and cape it right here. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, stay tuned and uh, we're gonna get this thing back to camp and uh, start early in the morning and hopefully going after a uh, red hearted beast. Glenn with uh, Wild Safari Africa. Next time on Wild Safari Africa. <laughs>